Hi, this is just a quick video to show you how to remove the spinner and the button from the RK1 Bonk Mini uh, because this one do not work with Raspberry Pi because it have a six pin so I recommend get uh, the spinner from Glint and I'll give you the link so I bought some on the Black Friday so I got it pretty cheap I think $39 so I'm going to show you how to remove this. First, I thought you had to take the pin out and I took this little, little head off and you don't need to do all that. Okay. So first, what you want to do is you could take this whole bracket out. So this is the one already been taken out. You just uh, take the full screw out and you just pull. You pull hard and you just wiggle it and just come out. Okay? See how those uh, four angles right there? Can you see it? Those little pin? You have to line up with, if you want to put the head back, you have to line up with, uh, see those, those two pin and the two here? So you line up with it. Make sure this angle is correct and just you know push it back in that's it okay so that's how you remove remove the the spinner so let me demonstrate that real quick so we're going to take the screw out Once you take the screw out, we're going to pop this out. Now, there's a little bit of concern about once I put a joystick in here because a joystick is the width is going to be very close to like this one. So I think it should fit a joystick without issue. All right. So what I'm going to do is just you don't want to hold at the bottom because when you hold at the bottom, it's going to keep you from keep your hand just gonna hold it and hold this piece down like this and you just going to put your nail into it you're gonna wiggle it it's hot it's easier to do it from that side because you got a good grip on it because I already took it out all right it might need some of this uh, flat fly head lift it up a little bit there you go. So when you hear the pop, that means uh, whatever is holding it, the glue or whatever, you just spin it, lift it up little bit by little bit, so it come out. Okay. So to pull it without using a flat screw is gonna be hard. Once you get it out, it's easy to just pull it out because you know it's no longer okay. So that's how you get the got it out. So you're gonna aim those two to the top and just push it back in. Okay, yeah. Once you get it out, it's easy. Just, just pull, come out. But when if when when it's, you don't have that much space, it's best to use a flat flat head to help you push it out. Okay, so let's put this one back in. There you go. Okay, push it back in. All right. So that's how you remove the spinner. Now, those of you who never removed the uh, this thing right here see there's two little knot right here see one over here on this side and one on the other side so you're going to push you're going to squeeze them in i should use the different color because this is black with black so it's hard to see so you're going to squeeze it and squeeze and push at the same time or you could squeeze this It's hard to do, okay? So squeeze and push. So there's two buttons you're going to squeeze. And then you, you, you kind of squeeze, you squeeze and you push with, with this kind of motion. Squeeze, push, okay? So I squeeze and push. 
Now both button is out. Okay. Let me take it out from here. See, you see there is a but the button here, and there's a button here. So you're going to push in, and then you use your once you push in, use your thumb to push forward like this. Push forward. So squeeze, push forward, and then it will go through. So that's the motion. You squeeze it all the way in, push this way, push this way. So that's how you get it out. All right, so I got those all those buttons now. Now the question is, how are you gonna put this in? So what I was thinking about, two things. I could put a, I could put a piece of wood first, get the hole cut out, and then drill the hole again because those uh, thinner wood is, is very thin. It's easy to drill a hole. So drill a hole and then put it on top of this and drill the hole again. That way, uh, and then what I'm gonna do, I, I'm still haven't decided yet. So once I decided, I'll go through the step, what I did, how I do it to make this possible. All right, but that's, this is just a quick video to show you how to remove the the spinner and the button for those of you who 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 do want to remove it how you remove it okay so just uh i'm just curious is would this spinner go right through here because this is from glens so same thing glens you just you have a screw here which i already tied it up Blech. now to go flat find a stupid flat screw see if i could pull it out no i tied it good <laughs> So I can, but it should fit right through here nicely. It's just that I don't have, I tightened this little thing pretty good. I don't think I can untie using a, a flat head. I have to use a special, I have to use a special wrench that come with this. Okay. But yeah, uh, it should go in pretty well. Okay, but I'm not gonna put it in the same spot anyway. So I'm gonna put a joystick right here and I'm gonna put one, maybe two button, four button here. And if I have space, I'll put a spinner here. So it'll be spinner and four button. Okay, stay tuned.